Emerson Pastor Aregada of Guatemala is the referee. And we are underway. 60 kilogram lightweight action between boxers making their respective world championship debuts here. Fabio Rosselli, 22 years of age. He's the man wearing red, representing a three-man squad from the Seychelles. His opponent wearing blue, who wasn't too far away with a right hand over the top. He's 24 years of age, or turn over, become 25 in the middle of next month. That is Yasin Lama. Two men represent the boxing team of North Macedonia. Plenty of regional successes for both of these men, as well as national championship titles. He's taken Baltic time championship titles over the years, has Lama. Fabio Rosselli, winner of the national selection tournament to book his place at this championships. And has taken national titles over the years in the various classifications. Big moment for both of them. Different statures, different styles. Targeting the body is Lama. Nice movement from the waist to avoid the attempted one-two coming in from Rosselli. Jabbing effectively to the body is Lama. And that's a wonderful jab upstairs that snaps the head back of Rosselli. Straight right hand to the body is an eye-catching shot. Looping left hook from the man in red, not too far away. Reverse one, two. Backed up Rosselli to the ropes from Lama. Rosselli short of the mark with his attempted at assault on the body, but there he has had success, digging away with the right hand to the torso of the man in blue. Spears downstairs with a straight left jab. Does Rosselli, bobbing and weaving in front of his man, rather telegraph that jab because his face flexed as he threw it. And if I can see that from here at ringside, well, I'm sure that his opponent far closer than I inside the ring will have noticed it as well. That's why he was able to evade it. Long looping left hook was uncoiled, but only found the glove of his opponent from Rosselli. So the first round in the book is a decorator stool, or indeed a toddler stool if you prefer. Help young people see over the, see onto the worktop and over the bathroom sink. And they're learning to clean their teeth and such other activities. Lama taking the first round unanimously. 10-8 might be a little bit harsh, but that's how the judge from Slovakia has seen it. Rosselli not with enough consistent, effective scoring to take a share of it for any of the scoring judges. So we go into the second round then. What can Rosselli do differently after conceding the first round unanimously? Four scores returned of 10-9. The judge from Slovakia scoring it 10-8 in favor of the man in blue. So he's a very long, angular boxer and he'd be well served surely to try and establish that shot. But everything's a single right now from Rosselli. seen in this tournament right here in Belgrade of when you see taller boxers who possess the lead left hand when they decide to get on the front foot with it 
It can make life very difficult indeed. England's Lewis Williams used his left hand to terrific effect in the 92 kilogram heavyweight division. And earlier today, the man from Mexico, Rogelio Romero, when he was operating on the front foot behind a long, jolting southpaw right jab, it turned the contest on his head. We've received word, actually, as Rosselli takes a left hook, that Romero and his team lodged a, followed the bout appeal process. He lost it on a 3-2 split, 28-29 across the board against his opponent from Slovakia, Matus Strinisko. And we receive, receive word that that result may have been overturned on bout review. That word has reached me while I've been on air here in Belgrade as a box is exchanging body shots. So that avenue of appeal is available. Oh, good right uppercut during that cluster of punches and that hurt. Rosselli caused him to back off, coming just a little bit disorganized. And as the boxers engage in a clinch, well, grateful for that is Rosselli. Now back into the breach he steps. Off the mark with his left-right attempted combination, Rosselli, and the accuracy just isn't what it needs to be from the 22-year-old from Victoria. Clearly enjoys what he's doing and possesses attributes that could become fantastic assets at this in and around these weight divisions. Very long at the weight, but he's not busy enough with that lead hand. And having conceded the first round unanimously, well, he's just not been accurate enough or active enough to make life uncomfortable for Lama of North Macedonia. So the second round in the book, and credit to Rosselli, tried to be the aggressor, but he couldn't find the range with his long lead left hand. So two rounds completed, both of them scored unanimously in favor of Lama. And Rosselli, well, he's in a bit of an invidious position here now because he's trailing by a considerable margin on all five scorecards. His best bet is to try and take his man out of there inside the distance, but to get that type of power on your punches, well, it inevitably means that you're staying in the pocket a little while longer yourself, which means that you are there to be hit longer than you otherwise would be. So into the third and final round we go then. And Fabio Rosselli, in his first continental tournament, his first global tournament, certainly, but he hasn't competed with any great regularity outside of his homeland or his region. Here he is on the world championship stage against a fellow world championship debutante, Lama from North Macedonia. He's competing with what he has, but it simply hasn't been enough. As the more compact figure we're in blue has landed the more eye-catching punches. And you can see how effective a body puncher he is. Comparatively, thicker set than Rosselli. And I've talked about his attributes, how he could become a boxer behind a long lead left hand. Well, when you're built like Lama at this weight class, well, this is how you've got to go about your craft. Rough up the opponent, bob and weave your way to the inside, and then let hooks and uppercuts go when you're in punching range. Don't allow yourself to be tied up by tall, angular fighters like Rosselli. Lama did that to terrific effect in the opening round. He almost took his foot off the gas and just controlled proceedings in the second round. Good right hand to the body dug in by Rosselli. And having taken that breather, it's an altogether more active Lama here in round number three. Beautiful jab from his belt line by the boxer in blue. Content to keep his hands down by his side now to present a different look to the boxer from the Seychelles, who still can't find the range with that lead left hand. And when they come in singles, well, it just gives Lama an age to keep himself 
out of harm's way and organize? Can he double it up, Rosselli? Can he maintain an attack? Turn Southport for one shot. But he just can't find any successful offense, the man in red, because the ring craft of Lama is keeping him beyond punching range, even though he is the taller, longer fighter. Had some success to the body, ironically, had Rosselli when he's turned in bolo punches with his palm turned upwards. But it's Lama who has conducted proceedings up there on his own terms. Counter left hook not too far away from Lama. It was of the lead variety. He didn't set it up with a jab. He just uncoiled it from his belt line. A referee from Guatemala just speaking to Rosselli about the illegal tactic of clamping his opponent's arm beneath his. So now Rosselli trying to quicken his feet, but it's too little too late, and still the jabs come in single fashion. His legs are very wide set beneath him, which means that it's difficult to move quickly. It's the difference. Can you imagine a sprinter with a quick leg turnover and one who has a long raking stride? One with a shorter, quicker turnover, shorter stride is probably going to be more effective over the 60 meter distance, unless, of course, you're something of a unicorn like Usain Bolt, who was six foot five and massive stride and still had the leg turnover of a sprinter far shorter than he. But Fabio Rosselli, not able to find the range behind what could be a very effective long lead left jab. Lama controlling things pretty comfortably during the course of that contest. And he will go through to the round of 32, the second preliminary round in the men's 60 kilogram lightweight division. Let's get the official announcement. So, shadow boxing to celebrate his success is Yasin Lama of North Macedonia, a successful world champion.